the 2nd of December 2022, Talk 5 Morning Headlines. Hansraj Gangara Mahir appointed as the new NCBC chairperson. Veteran audio film actress Jarana Das passes away at 77. Pakistan tops or list of nations at risk of violence or India ranked 8. Indian naval ship Siwali can come out or visit Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Civil Aviation Minister launches direct flight from Pune to Singapore. Know about Singapore. Singapore is a sovereign island country and city-state in maritime Southeast Asia. It has the third highest population density in the world. Singapore was occupied by Japan in 1942 and returned to British control in 1945. Singapore gained self-governance in 1959 and became an independent country in 1965. Prime Minister, Li Xian Long. President, Halima Yaakob. Know about, Orissa. Orissa is an eastern Indian state on the Bay of Bengal. It is known for its tribal cultures and its many ancient Hindu temples. The Lingaraj Temple Complex dating to the 11th century, is set around the sacred Bindusaga Lake. Statehood, the 1st of April 1936. Capital, Bhubaneswar. Chief Minister, Naveen Patnayak. Official Animal, Samhar Gear. Population, 4.37 crores 2014. Governor, Ganeshi Lal. Know about, NCB. India or S National Commission for Backward Classes is a constitutional body under the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. It was constituted pursuant to the provisions of the National Commission for Backward Classes Act, 1993. Union Minister Virendra Kumar Khatik is the Minister of Social Justice. Formed, the 14th of August 1993. Headquarters, New Delhi. First Executive, Justice R. N. Prasad. Hansraj Gangara Mahir appointed as the new NCBC chairperson. Hansraj Gangara Mahir appointed as chairperson of National Commission for Backward Classes on the 2nd of December 2022. He belongs to Maharashtra and is an agriculturist by profession. He belongs to District Chandrapur, state of Maharashtra. He had been Union Minister of State for Home Affairs and Union Minister of State for Chemicals and Fertilizer, Government of India during the 16th Lok Sabha. Vijinder Sharma elected President of ICAI. Vijinder Sharma has been elected as the new President of the Institute of Cost Accountants of India for the year 2022-23. Rakesh Balla was elected as the Vice President for 2022-23. We, Sharma is a fellow member of ICAI and a law graduate and a leading practicing cost accountant since 1998 and an insolvency professional since January 2017. Veteran audio film actress Jarana Das passes away at 77. Veteran audio film actress Jarana Das passed away on the 2nd of December 2022. She was given the state government or as prestigious or Jayadev Puraskar or for her lifetime contribution to the audio film industry. She is known for her memorable roles in films or Malajana, Amada Bata, Adina Megha, Abhinetri, and many more audio classics. She also won the Guru Kelucharan Mohapatra Award in 2016. Pakistan Tops, List of Nations at Risk of Violence, India Ranked 8. Pakistan has topped the list of countries at the highest risk of experiencing new mass killings, according to a new report by a U.S. think tank, Early Warning Project in December 2022. Pakistan has ranked at the highest risk among all 162 countries. Pakistan is followed by Yemen, Myanmar, Chad, and Ethiopia. India was ranked 8th. Civil Aviation Minister launches direct flight from Pune to Singapore. Minister of Civil Aviation Jyothiraditya Sindhya has flagged off a direct international flight from Pune to Singapore by Vistara Aviation on 2 December 2022. Singapore is a key market for business and leisure travel from various points in India.
Indian naval ship Siwalik and Kamota visit Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Indian naval ships Siwalik and Kamota have arrived in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam on the 2nd of December 2022. The ships would be undertaking numerous professional interactions with the Vietnam people or S Navy during the visit. The two ships are equipped with a versatile array of weapons and sensors, carry multi-role helicopters and symbolize India or S advanced warship building capabilities. International Day of Persons with Disabilities, the 3rd of December. The International Day of Persons with Disabilities IDPD, is observed on December 3rd every year to spread awareness about the rights and well-being of people with disabilities. International Day of Persons with Disabilities began in 1992 by United Nations. Theme or quote, less than span style equals greater than transformative solutions for inclusive development. The role of innovation in fueling an accessible and equitable world. Ministry of Culture organizes Swadharuhar Festival in New Delhi. Ministry of Culture, in collaboration with Oral Quo, Swadharuhar Foundation, or RDQO, inaugurated a three day Oral Quo, Swadharuhar Festival or Quote in New Delhi on 2 December 2022. Swadharuhar Festival is a music art or literature festival to showcase the iconic art and culture of India. Swadharohar festival was inaugurated today by Chief Guest Mehta Ali, sitter player, and PT Lalit Prasad classical vocal.